hi guys i hope you're all good i hope you are all well no i was rushing for this channel i must make sure good <laughs> i didn't sleep Lisa the lipstick welcome welcome if you are new here you are so very welcome i'm tisha oliphant born and bred in south africa yes and this is my youtube channel our youtube channel if i, I may put it that way uh my corporate journey and why my corporate journey because i worked for corporate for almost three decades and last year in feb i was saving my notice because i decided to leave my dream i decided to hang my apron and go and travel the world so yes i did travel for almost seven months I went to different continents and it was awesome awesomeness so now that i'm back i'm sh i did share the information i did take videos while traveling but during this past was it three weeks today is the fourth week we've been focusing on saturday's afternoon we focus on finance boot camp so this is to help someone who's sitting somewhere across the globe who says you know what i work i've got my own business and i also aspire to travel one day you know i also aspire to live my dream we all have different dreams mine was to travel and yours is known and to you and your loved ones you know so these finance boot camps are dedicated to say it is possible you can live your dream and it to, is to assist people who'd love to know how they can look and take care of their finances so that tomorrow they can also live their dream like i've lived my dream so these sessions are all about that session one was basically an introduction and session two we spoke about budgeting because honestly guys your budget is like a road map you will certainly not get to where you're heading to if you don't have that google maps that says 10 rights uh make a u10 make a u10 because the minute you start spending 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 the voice must say make a u10 make a u10 so reduce your spending reduce your spending it's killing you if you really want to live that dream do something do something so that was session two where we focused on budgeting looking at how much income you're bringing into your life and what your expenses are and then session three which was last week saturday we we spent a quite a number of uh, uh minutes <laughs> i want to say hours but it wasn't hours uh we we did a deep dive into debt and i did mention that debt is debt uh, management uh, is broad so we couldn't have touched on every single aspect but overall if you are currently in debt you know exactly sorry guys you know exactly what to do <laughs> some spooks you know exactly what to do you know exactly what to focus on you know where to cut and yes and what to bring in in terms of invest of investing in businesses starting businesses and yes and taking on extra jobs and this particular week my favorite savings and investment guys as you're coming in if this is your home welcome 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 to my subscribers that are returning thank you for liking thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting for watching the ads i truly appreciate but can i i haven't asked as you come in please do like the video please do like the video liking the video is free of charge you basically saying can someone else out there also get this information can someone else up out there also listen to the video and change their ways if they need to and learn a thing or two so i'll appreciate it to those who are currently watching if you can like a video and i would even be able to see 
who liked uh, the video in case you know you want to keep it anonymous you know these days says lots of people say i'm anonymous i'm calling uh, as an anonymous person so keep it anonymous but do like the video i'll truly appreciate and thank you guys for for everyone who's been with me on this journey for quite some time yeah, your love and support doesn't go unnoticed, I, I promise you. So guys, let's talk investments and savings. And you can see session four of Finance Bootcamp. I've separated, I've separated the two terms because as much as people use them interchangeably, they do not mean the same thing. So we're going to start off by just... Uh, going through the reasons personally why it's important for me to save and invest because I do both. And if you can, please do both. Do save and do invest because they are different. And if you didn't know the difference, you'll soon understand. So for me, guys, I went, still work hard for my money. I come up with creative ways to make an extra buck. I take on new projects. So I don't see myself working and earning and bringing in cash and moolah and dollars and not taking care of my money. Because I've always believed I take care of my rents and tomorrow they look after me. And they did that for me when I was traveling. For years, I needed to take care of my money for that money to look after me. And how do you take care of your money? By saving and investing. Because there's no other ways. And we always ought to remember that whatever you are buying, the buying power today will not be the same in three years' time. In fact, even next year, even in six months' prices, could go up with we're looking at the petrol price the amount that got you a liter of petrol uh, three years ago is not the same amount that's getting you a liter of petrol this year so you basically need to invest to beat inflation which is the rate at which prices increase so as prices increase the the it erodes the value of the of your of your money in your pockets so you need to make sure you keep it going you still have enough in 10 years from now same amount to be able to buy the bread that you're buying today so bread today is 20 rands when you invest you basically say i still want to have equivalent to this 20 rands of today to be able to buy the bread tomorrow and if you don't invest guys chances are you you'll be soon out of the game that you'll be soon uh, uh, finding yourself in debt because your monies won't get you far so it is imperative very crucial that you don't just work 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 and not take care of your hard earned cash and it is important that you don't wake up every morning just to spend 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 bad move wake up so that when you get your income when you get your royalties when you get your revenues you make sure you invest them and you save some of your monies very important i don't think there's a simplified way of explaining this and if you have dreams like i've got dreams your investments will get you to where you are heading to your investments will help you realize your dreams because we all know money makes the world go round if right now you're dreaming of buying a car, you certainly can't buy a car if you don't have money. If you want to take your children to these uh, private schools, provide a quality education, without investments, you can't do that. Extra lessons, we can't, without investments. Buying a, a property, buying, a la buying land, you cannot do that with 
the amount that you earn because we spoke about budgeting and we know which a chunk of what we earn goes towards our daily expenses so if you don't take from after you've been debited or you've paid and you pay yourself first which is the concept of investing and then you make sure that money looks after you tomorrow guys you'll be counted amongst the states and what does the state say i think only six percent of south africans uh, retire comfortably currently a huge chunk percentage of south africans are in debt because if you don't invest, where will your money come from? And thank you guys for being here. Judith, I see you. I see you. And please do like the video. So guys, the difference between saving and investing. Personally, when you save, we're talking about putting monies away for emergencies. Monies that will be easily accessible money is that you will be able to withdraw on demand so you cannot say i want to invest a certain amount but i need it at any time that would be saving a certain amount so that as and when you need it you are able to access it and use it for your needs so that's the difference and in most cases, savings attracts lower interest rates. And most savings are through banks. I get guys, banks are for transactional banking. Banks are for low getting, uh, borrowing money. Banks are not huge in terms of investment. You can get some investments accounts, but the interest will not be as great so if you're gonna put your money in a bank regard that as a savings even though they might call it investment but look at the interest rates and think to yourself is this interest rate higher than the inflation rates you ought to know what is the current inflation rates like you know what is the prime rate you start reading the news listening to news you start reading uh, articles that now puts you in that bracket of people that invest and save and guys even if you are in debt personally i spoke briefly on my facebook page about striking a balance personally you ought to be paying off your debt, more especially that are costing you a lot of money due to high interest rates and making sure that you are investing for rainy days or you are saving for rainy days. So when you save, you in most cases, there's what is called emergency fund. So don't even get excited about putting monies away forever if you haven't sorted out your emergency fund, which will be the fund that will come into your rescue when ES hits EF. Those who know, know. When the unexpected happens, when you have to take care of emergencies, you know, your dog gets sick, it needs to be operated. You don't have any funds available. Your emergency fund, fund will come into your rescue. Your tire bursts and it's not part of your insurance. Your emergency fund comes into your rescue. You lose your job. Some people don't even have the retrenchment uh, covers or insurances. Your emergency fund will take care of you while you're looking for another job while you're still in the market so it is imperative to go to uber the emergency fund some people say you need to have three months uh, you know equivalent 
to, to your monthly expenses and this say six months equivalent to your monthly expense others go as 12 months and to be honest with you you can't achieve that goal overnight you ought to be patient with yourself and be realistic but work on building your emergency fund because life is unpredictable we saw how COVID came to us like a thief in the night unexpectedly so and if people didn't have emergency funds those who didn't have they know the brand because some lost their jobs some got ama salary cuts then what do you do in the time while you are still trying to to find your feet find the balance you are in the markets you'll find yourself in debt so if you have an emergency fund, you'll still make sure you go to, you honor your, your, your obligations. You pay the people that you owe on a monthly basis. And by God's grace, before your emergency fund dries up, you would find you are appointed some way. Your life is sorted. So it is important. So that is what we call savings. When you are putting monies away, you know, just to be able to access them and they're not generating attractive or high interest rates. In most cases, they're not even beating inflation. It's just to be able to survive for that particular reasons, for all those reasons that I've just mentioned. Would, unexpectedly you need to sort out something you've got an emergency you don't always run to capitec to look for a personal loan because you'll end up with 20 that you will not be able to even afford at the end of the day so with your emergency fund you always go there if there's uh, unexpected uh, amounts that are required whether a child at school needs to go for for this play and it's so important you can tap into your emergency fund and guys again our lifestyles are different we've got we are in different stages of lives others are just getting married others are single others are divorcing others have 10 kids look into your situation and be realistic and structure your finances according to your situation and what at home do you can't be living your best life when kids are, are needing certain things. When the school fees is owing thousands and thousands of rent, rents. Let's be responsible parents. But make sure you take care of that emergency fund. And you, every month you put something into it. You pay yourself first. First, your emergency fund, then you can look into paying yourself first in terms of the investments. So, investment or investing is humongous. Complex in other areas, depending on what we are talking about. And there's no ways, just like debt management, that we're going to touch everything in investment. It will be high level. And again, I am not a certified financial advisor. I'm your mother talking from personal experiences and what worked for me. If you need to structure your finances accordingly, approach a certified financial advisor, not a scammer, to take you through your journey and i can assure you your first meeting will be just getting to understand who you are in terms of are you single how many kids do you have where do you work how much do you earn what are your goals do you have certain uh, insurances where the gaps are and that those will be the questions before that financial advisor can even say take this investment buy this do this he needs to to go through your needs analysis or assessment and check who you are 
Do you have parents that depend on you? Do you have nieces that de are you taking care of a neighbor's child? All those things do you donate to certain charities? So do approach a certified financial advisor when you need solid uh, advice in terms of finances. And do pay, guys, for good advice. You invest on other things. You invest on your hair, invest on your skin, invest on your body. You're covering, up, you're covering it up with these fancy pieces of clothing. You invest in your house. Your cars has these rims. I wonder if cars still come with rims. Whatever the fancy, expensive uh, sound system, expensive phones and smart watches, invest in your finances if you want to truly realize your dream and part of investing in your finances is you sitting here with your wi-fi and, and your data and your time and listening to me and taking notes because investing comes in all forms but the formal one is when you approach a certified underline that certified financial advisor or financial planner to help you because guys there's taxes involved you know there's how young are your kids if you were to leave this earth what will happen to your monies if you've got properties if you've got businesses guys it is huge as you grow as you acquire things and assets it becomes complex invite or pay for someone who can simplify and customize so that this shoe fits you only you and no one else and there's no copy and paste no like i've said we all have different dreams my dream was to travel i still have other dreams that i'm working on now since i've realized my dream of traveling so yours might not even be traveling might be something completely different so how your investment will be structured by your financial advisor will be different uh, from mine but i encourage you guys to take time if you really want to reap the fruits in the future Utebeli Selaga, hello Sisi, Aove Ulusi. So pleasure, pleasure, Sisi. Just receive and take it all in, Sisi. And I wanna say, Tebeli, I might sit here and I always try to make sure that it suits everyone. So I don't sit here as a, a top earner and talk high level stuff for I'll, I'll be talking investment classes that are only suitable for, for the wealthy. So whatever i'll share you can start with 100 rands 250 and just build on it is a matter of discipline and time so i get cause of hi but mommy i only get 350 hi but i get 350,000. the information that i share it comes from a mother who started working as a teenager and was earning a relatively small income salary but as my salary, as I was improving myself at my work, by studying, by applying for promotions, by proving myself and taking on extra work and getting other promotions that I deserved, I got more money. So I started small. So I started also with the emergency fund. I started putting my money every month in bags, you know? And as time went on, then I started investing in serious things now because I could. And the knowledge was also assisting and my financial planner was there to guide me. As much as I'm knowledgeable, guys, in, in, in certain things in life, I still book sessions. I still uh, will book time with a, a mentor who will most probably tell me something that I know but I'll be happy because it might bring up two or three, two, three things that I was in our way of. And also, it gives me just the time to focus on my finances. So do the same. Because of you, I downloaded Easy Equities and invested on the old mutual bulatil. Oh, my words. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best. Good afternoon, mommy. Hi, buoy. Hi, my baby girl. So, guys, maybe let's hash out the savings. 
so you will save in a bank in most cases and banks will have your money markets accounts which give much better interest rates than your your transactional account where your salary is coming in and and where you're paying out ama debit orders that's your transactional account so when you pay yourself first and you are building this emergency fund look into how much do you, we look at in terms of the interest rate interest in the money market account and don't guys because you bank with, with absa you're only gonna research absa no check other banks as well because you can have your transactional account with absa and have your emergency fund with another bank i always bring myself in although i don't do it um in detail to avoid unnecessary commotion this is social media however I get this i'll share me now my emergency fund is with time bank and i use their goals so time bank has that transactional section and i'm going to show you about the african uh, rainbow and it's petris so black brother I always i'll be excited I'm, I'm black after all so they have the transactional se se uh, section where you use your time bank card to pay for your, your your expenses and then you are able to add goals Minage guys, because I'm big on vision boards, I'm big on law of attraction, I'm big on achieving things that I set and I saw them in my eye, which is here, and today I have them. My goals have names. So, if you have a child that you want to go to private school, your goal on your time bank will have private school. Or even the name of the private Crawford, Crawford a College, you know, St. Mary's. So do it like that. So I use a time bank for my emergency fund. So if I need to take care of something which I didn't budget for, which is the unexpected of this earth, and they do happen, no matter how well you've budgeted and planned for your life, you can't control everything. I go into my time bank emergency fund and I'll take whatever amount, whether it's a 5,000, and I try and make sure, guys, I've got at least three months worth of my expenses. And hence, a year later, I'm still sitting in front of you enjoying my gap year having traveled the world show me how many people not by kwabanising or doing fanagalo by investing for years i'm still able to take care of my finances well with the monies that i looked after when i was much younger that are now looking after me now and obviously there's a retirement that i'm still uh, take into consideration or oh, i'm still considering that so see which bank you want to use as a, 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 as your emergency fund look into your money markets accounts they pay relatively much better rates than transactional accounts look into you and you get your money most probably as and when i'm not sure make sure you read the terms and conditions and you can put it in places where when you need the money now you'll be charged penalties because then you're giving someone your hard earned money for nothing look into 32 day notice accounts but you must know you ought to give the bank 32 days notice before you can get that money if you need it as in yesterday with stories that unfortunately my dog died yesterday i need to organize a funeral they're gonna charge you a penalty so guys don't do things trying to who's fooling who you're fooling yourself be realistic set realistic goals and be honest with yourself when will i need this money and then 
uh, yeah, we spoke about money markets. Uh, we spoke about 32 days notice and also fixed deposits. I think they start from one month up until 60 months. So check. And before one of my children came to me last week and said, Ma, I've got a lump sum. And I know you are great with the investment. You are not a financial advisor as a mother. Where should I put this money? My first question is, when will you need this money? And ask yourself the very same question before you put away. So that is now investing. Uh, emergency, you can need it even first week when you started putting it away. Three months later, if you are retrenched. But when we're talking investments, now we're done with saving for emergency, saving for like short-term goals, investments we're talking guys medium to long term i asked this child when will you need your money if you want to invest it i might think in in two months i said that is not investment look into fixed deposit money market 32 day they will pay you well but please know if you then change your mind there are penalties and I said to her, I mean, I'm a long-term investor. Proudly so. I let e e e compound interest come to play. So, me now, when I invest, when I'm talking investment, I'm talking minimum five years above. So, it's difficult for me to even assist someone who wants their monies in three months, in, in five months. But they are... Uh, uh, accounts or funds that caters for that. Just do your homework. But if you really want to see proper returns, money is coming in at an incredible rate. Even, you know, beating inflation, we're talking long-term investment. So again, yeah, you start there. When you start investing, you've sorted out your emergency fund, you've checked all the banks, you've compared the interest rates, you've chosen the best, you've decided, are you putting your money where you'll be able to access it when emergency strike? That is done. That is saving. Saving for like saving for children's uh, clothing in winter and you've been saving uh, from Jen. That is saving. That is not investing. Short term things that you know there and there investing is medium to long term where you now sit with yourself and you say i want to put away it doesn't have to be a lump sum like my child who just got her hands in this lump sum if you have a lump sum hallelujah if you don't have a lump sum you can on a monthly basis weekly basis daily basis depending on when you get money's coming through your way because there's there's people who are making money every day and can invest every day don't think because majority only makes money once a month everyone falls there's people who are hustling weekly they can put away invest so but ask yourself when will i need this money what is this money for guys always have goals when you invest no point no just having it there i'm investing towards a deposit of my car or my property. I'm investing towards my holiday. I'm investing towards a wedding. That encourages you to be focused, excuse me, and consistent. And to make sure which you don't just touch it whenever. Because if you don't have a goal, why? I, I just don't see how people can carry on without goals. So, when will I need this money? What, what is this money for? And, and yes, how much can I afford to pay myself first? So, you've taken the portion. You're killing your debts. We spoke about debt. Portion is to kill your debt. Portion is emergency fund. And now you say, this amount is for in my investment for my children's education my child is a newborn and i want my child to go to a decent preschool that is your goal how much uh, does the preschool cost you 
cost it now and you put inflation into consideration we would see in, in 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 seven years or five years from now how much will it cost then how much at least can i put away and you can always supplement but just have something so when we're talking gay investments guys there are so many investment classes you know you can invest in cash don't regard even cash as a investment that is savings you know that keeping your money in the bank that is cash but i've seen there's a there's a retail savings bond so that's when you're investing in bonds that's investing with government bonds and their interest rates were quite amazing and they also have like inflation linked i don't want to get into detail you'll get it confused but if you want to go research research and look at the interest rates you can invest in bonds you can invest in properties you can invest in what uh, tim Belisha is currently investing in google stock markets you ought to be with stock markets and less guys you are approaching your retirement soon if you still have time on your side you're in your 20s you're in your 30s you're in your 40s look into investing with stock markets and stock market is long term stock market is not gambling it's investing so you don't look to oh oh i'm taking i'm taking you'll make a loss and guys there are risks that are involved so how long how when will i need this money and and those questions ask yourself what risks are you willing to take when you put it in your money market that is low risk your your your, your money or your capital is guaranteed but when it's we're speaking stock market high risk high returns low risk low returns gulea emergency fund investment stock market high risk high returns you know so no Hey, what's your risk tolerance? What can you tolerate? If you put in 10,000 into a stock market, will you be okay to lose 4,000? Because market crashes and people panic and they withdraw their monies. And when the market crash, you should sit back and relax and buy more shares. So that in years time, it corrects itself and you don't run it at a loss. But you ought to know high risk, high returns. And when we talk time, we are saying if you are 20 and there will be a market crash in 2030, you are still okay because you still have a long way to go. And hence, those asset classes are not for short-term guys they are not for depositing a card next year they are not for getting married in, in september no stick to ama fixed deposit short-term money market if you want to invest for gold that are looking at you in in few months time or in a year's time when we're talking of stock market we're talking long-term investments and uh, you've downloaded is equity uh, and guys i i just touched on asset classes which is cash bond uh, equities and properties there's, there's different kinds within those asset classes okay, there are products different products so it is equity it is a platform you download an app they're not paying for this video i'm just making an example and it allows you to invest in a stock market if you bank with an fnb they've got a share investing if i'm not wrong where you pay a certain fee on a monthly basis i don't i don't think there's a fee with easy equity to invest in the stock exchange you should know who okay, if you are banking with absa net bank and your capitex which uh, product or app can assist you to invest the stock market because everyone should be buying my equities i'm not saying the big chunks but if you are young a big percentage of your, your of your of your investment should 
go towards that because that's where monies are made. Not gula mo six point five percent, which are uh, are not even beating e e e inflation. And I hope I hope you follow. But I wanna say, any don't tell me little. You should look into this uh, something called ETF exchange traded fund so be very careful when you get to easy equity and i don't want to get into detail because then it will take forever but i just want to help you since you've mentioned this be very careful to just buy or invest in a company a one company or two companies buying just the company's shares example you buy shares for capitec so you only investing directly to Capitec. Make sure you know their finances. You, you you've you've researched uh, and remember, guys, past performance doesn't guarantee good future performance will be great. But you've looked into their financial statements. You know who the CEO is, uh, where he's worked. You know, uh, there's a lot to 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 be uh, uh, considered. And others invest in com uh, companies for sentimental values. I'll. Uh, 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 reasons. I'll make an example. I never worked for a company and never bought those companies' shares. So every company I worked for, I'll buy an individual share, which is high risk because if that company goes down, your investment is down. But with exchange traded fund, which is, you know, like a basket of of companies. You get a bit of retail, a bit of construction, a bit of a property, a bit of everything, you know, uh, so we see medical and all that. And it does give you a breakdown. And that helps. You are not investing in an individual company, but in a number of companies. So if construction is not doing well in 2024, then you find retail is excelling and it really uh, it's lift up your investment so you don't to look at ama losses I, I i hope you follow and you can invest like uh, we are always encourage on my facebook page to 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 stash so there you can choose to invest in cash and i told you guys cash is not a great idea at all or stock exchange stash has another app so we spoke about is equity app stash is another app where you have access the to invest with top 40 of each on the spec stock exchange so all the companies that are performing top 40 companies in johannesburg stock exchange that are, are outperforming are you invest in them so you can just imagine how I'm not saying extremely well, but you're dealing with the big guns. So when you look into easy equity, do your research. You can invest in properties there. You can invest offshore, which is overseas, and that does help. But that will have to be a life, completely different life altogether with the benefits, the disadvantages, and the whole, and how you can invest offshore but don't keep all your monies in, in, in africa in south africa to be to be exact maybe you can diversify and, and and look into other and i'm sure you've heard this term of diversifying <coughs> basically say sorry don't keep all your eggs in one basket so don't every month when you're invest you're paying yourself first into stash no have different investment uh, assets classes little bit of property uh, more than enough maybe with stock exchange depending on your age like i've already said and your risk appetite and then maybe have some monies as a uh, cash we spoke cash property stock exchange bond diversify so also make sure you don't only invest in one company even if you this is companies that you really love and they've been outperforming and you're investing in them make sure that you also look into investing google, google and tracking uh, into indexes which is is different indexes 
such as about 40 sp 500 guys the list is endless about a template who are on is equity they know exactly you can easily get a confused and if you really struggle get that financial advisor to guide you and make sure Guti, you take advantage of those investment uh, products that are tax free because remember tax in everything tax while we work tax when we go buy food tax when we buy properties tax when we die tax when we invest tax when we sell our property guys we get taxed so you don't want to be investing half of your money goes towards tax so a financial advisor will be helping you with these complex but if you are someone who reads someone who watches you uh, 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 informative lives like your mom's lives and other youtube uh, content creators lives on youtube you will know exactly but oh my word this is how much tax i'll have to declare every year on my investment guys you pay tax on investments too so we pay tax for everything Pay tax if you when you are dead. There's no running away from the tax. Over and uh, when you submitting your tax return, it should also not just your medical aid, your investments as well. So that's where these gurus tells you to uh, rather go for a tax free uh, investment than you know it is tax free, but it's kept to 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 half a million a lifetime. However, again, yearly is 36,000 and I think everyone should be maxing at 36,000 on a yearly basis. How much is that a month? Good afternoon, sis. Hello, Tombi. Tugwa. Bugelwa. Check. Hi, sis. Wabi. Ish in everything, sis. Ish, sis. So, that is just to, to... I hope, guys, you're still following because... I don't want to complicate it, but I also want you to get a clarity on how to look into investing and saving. What saving is, what investing is, and to also know, Muti, we all are different. We all have different responsibilities. We all at different stages of, of our lives. Someone who's got adults, adult children, do we say that? Yeah. My children are adults. I will not be choosing investments for for educa about educational policies. For what? My kids are done, you know? But if you've got younger kids, you ought to look into investing in, in your children's uh, future. You know, but everyone should have a, a, a retirement within uh, investment. Uh, yeah, but, but I want us to speak about investing for retirement in a separate video because it is so crucial and a lot of people overlook it. Because when you're 20, they talk retirement, you think, oh my God, it will be 200 years time. Guys, time flies. But let's talk about that. We'll just look into in investing for your retirement because we need to talk about it. So if I say 36,000, guys, I know some of you expect to say, guys, I'm mommy for a reason. I'm not young. And currently I'm a lady of leisure. So it means even my brain is not fried. So I can't be thinking of these higher grade things. My brain is just relaxed, getting ready to hit the red race again. So, nigga, hey, my boy, I feel like 3,000. But, but what's wrong with you? So, you should be at least investing the max in 3,000. Guys, it's already in the middle of the day. I'm going to go to the house. A max of 3,000 into, guys, I'm going to go to the house, but I can't. It will be rude. Into your tax free investment account. Take advantage of tax-free uh, savings accounts you know tax-free tfsa yes take advantage of that hi mommy which stock exchange would you 
recommend so see there's a uh, chinese bank stock exchange there's usa stock exchange usa us good they say china there's different ones but it uh, just uh, 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 do your your research but i would say charity begins at home start with something that you understand which is jse invest who uh, downloaded what uh, too many has downloaded is equity i think it's the easiest way of gaining access to a stock uh, uh, a spec stock exchange and start investing and look into etfs if you don't want to be going through a travel you would okay i want to buy shares in coca-cola but now you have to look into books is a coca-cola who is coca-cola where how did the business start who's running it their financials uh, in terms of giving back to the society do they give back because that is very important as well guys is there coca-cola destroying a, a planet for those who believe in a green environment there's a lot to take into consideration and what are the risks involved what were the returns in the past years it doesn't mean it will be the future returns do i really want to buy shares but i'm not discouraging you i also have individual uh, uh, shares a uh, company shares that i've bought others i want to get rid of and what i'll tip you dialog don't buy much of my shares they will let it takes a discable shop right who a lot of money care who a lot of money is just look into at least five and invest minimum of twenty thousand minimum on those five but if you don't want to stress, say, say, say research and, and checking and looking at your shares, uh, not every day because you're going to go cuckoos, but when you hear the news and you need to check, then go for an um, exchange traded fund because they will have everything under you know, the medical side of things. You know, like we've already said, uh, logistics, technology, they'll have the umbrella of those companies and whether you don't need to be actively. Remember, investing, there's active investing and passive investing. So be very careful, Galibus, every day. So your checker, oh, but oh, I invested with Mr. Price. How is Mr. Price doing? Oh, let me sell. And you end up making wrong decisions but if you've been in this field of investing you're comfortable you know what to look for you know your risk appetite you know why you're crazy about mr price shares and 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 go for it go for it you know and but don't have 10 20 how are you gonna manage it have five solid ones and one day i'll sit and i'll tell you what are my favorites but it don't mean i've invested in them i'm still also cleaning out my easy equity so that i'm only left with my top five the best and i make sure i put 20 20 20 20 20 000. but i'm not saying i'll sit one day and transfer 20 20 20 or invest 20 000 on all 100 000. no I'll be putting, you know, 2,000 this month, 1,000 here, 2,000, until minimum they at least have a solid 20,000. That's a guideline. You can do it your way where you have 5,000, 5,000, 5, but don't have a lot. You can have three. You know, maybe you are big and it's, it's your field of work. And guys, invest in things that you understand. If you're always buying a big deal, you might as well look into our shares. If you're crazy about Apple, look into our Lord Goma. You are supporting them. So whether you're just consuming, but you're not getting anything back. Yeah? Okay? Well, thinking, guys, let's let's not just be consumers. Let us make money out of the money that we spend. So you can have a minimum of three. You can only have one. Maybe you are crazy when I go 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 shop right. And guys. It did well without saying go invest in it. Those who in, bought ShopRite shares years back, they are smiling all the way. Others have bought, I uh, guess, their dream houses. I don't even want to talk about these shares, but especially there are shares that breaks my heart. And I've spoken about it. Capitec, Mr. Price, I hate them. <laughs> I don't hate the company, I hate myself for not 
investing in those shares. If it's the price when they opened their first shop, I walked in, I stood in the beginning, I looked at the concept, I like, I need to invest in this thing. This thing in South Africa is going to go far. And the shares at the time were only 15 rands. Guys, go check how much was Mr. Price. Capitec, when they launched, I was in, a, I think, just left the financial institution or industry. And I was like, Lord, they big on technology. They gonna give the big four run for their money. I need to get their shares. And I spoke, guys, procrastination. Think about it. Quickly do your research. Don't research, research for the next 20 years while others are adding interest. Eh? Do your research and quickly choose your investment. Go, but here's another thing that kills us. Uh, the little, uh, paralysis analysis. You busy analyzing, analyzing, comparing all these banks you've been comparing for the past three weeks. Someone has already invested their monies. Someone is already uh, earning interest. Yes, do your research, do your comparison, do analyze, you know, but don't allow analysis paralysis. There's people who are sitting with the information, wanting to buy property for, for, for five years. When you busy, in and out of properties, you haven't decided. People are already getting Elon, Amar returns, you know, in their properties. The ones who looked, sat down, did their homeworks, ask around, ask the gurus and said, okay, I'm investing in this thing. It makes sense. It's in the right location. It's below the market value. And there's people who will rent and, 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 and went in. When you say, right, I don't like the tiles or the color of the paint. Analysis paralysis. Same, avoid it with your investment. Sit down, decide. Okay, Uma Ute, okay, bonds, cash is equity, which is is shares, and 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 guys, please don't ask me about crypto and Bitcoin. I'm okay. I do have you know a, an investment small investment foot i wasn't guarding for e crypto but it has a bit of e crypto guys i know that thing I, 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 it exists it's just that people use it to scam people so you could take it to a bitcoin it's there personally i'm not invested in that someone was even asking me where's my easy equity i just wanna is it ec10 yeah i think it's ec10 that touches on e a bit of bitcoin but if you are big on those just research buy and and keep it moving watch your money grow i want to join a stock fan ma i heard you nabonunzi have a stock fan how much uh two thousand yo 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 kazi let's talk fella said one thousand. Oh, okay, guys. Let me come back, friends. Let's talk, for guys. Time is not waiting for you. Do your research. Make a decision. Keep it moving, guys. Don't be stuck in busy. You've been analyzing things, overthinking. Thank you, mommy, for your information. Pleasure, sweet. We are saying good table. Yeah, so table. Do look into ETFs. Then you know who see you track it tracks indexes. You don't go for a specific share. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the old mutual. Remember, I did the live, we checked it out, and I'm glad to go to you did your research and you were happy to, to dive into that exactly what I'm saying. Research, listen to someone, read something listen to podcast go some radio program you know these metro fms they have afternoon shows or whatever guys i no longer listen to radio except radio veritas which is a catholic radio and if someone is sharing that information then come home and say okay can i start putting about 350 it needs to make sense though no, don't do it because the messes are, are, are doing it make sure you are comfortable and when you are asked why did you invest in shop rights you can you can say and hey, why keep on talking about them because damn i would have been so wealthy <laughs> uh the undo the about shares in sasso in 2008 hey, i've given up on them and i think and uh, don't be if you are i'm not wrong 
you bought the PEE shares. Correct me if I'm wrong. Or did you buy individual shares? Because Sasol was doing great as Upaya, the company shares. But with PEE, I bought a number of PEE shares. And yeah, I've learned my lessons. Okay, I've made money on some, but it, it was nothing near what I, I, I had expected. Uh, oh, or oh, MTN, uh, what was the MTN one? I forgot, but the PE shares. Uh, yes, Sasoli Zalusis, <laughs> those were those were bad investors. I get you, we had the term PE, at that time we had these PE guys with their sharp pointing shoes and whatever, and it was just fashionable, bad, bad. But if you bought if shares, yes, a Sasol, as a company, not be e shares, because there's a difference, you would have really smiled, sweetheart. If you took that about, I don't care whether it was 2,000 rands or 5,000 or 10,000, you would have smiled. If you bought shares like Putuma Nazi was a multi choice, you would be smiling now. And there were be e shares now, be e shares that did well that I, I followed, and I, I was like, oh. The ones that I didn't choose was a Moputuma Nazi, even the, the, the Telcom ones, which I missed. I went to the post office. Those years we were buying them at the post office and there was a long queue. It was my lunch time. I didn't go back. And yeah, they did well. I can't remember what they called the, 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 the Telcom ones. But Lababo Vodacom. Now we Vodacom, now we MTN, now we Sasol in Zalo. Hi, Aboye Boye to Vodacom is Aboye to guys. I still have my money's there. I've never looked at where we are at. And I had Welcome Zani. Those were the first shares I bought. Welcome Zani were from, how can I forget, but magazines. And at the time, magazines were being phased out, so it was a bad move. But those I sold. So, Selena Laowe, Yeboye, too, I think I think I sold my my. MTN, I can't remember. MTN Kangisa, I refused or something. And then I had Isa Solinza. I think I still have. I must check them. I don't even look at them when I, I do my my financial uh, self financial self planning, financial assessments every year. You just reminded me, but don't be. I look at my, my PE shares. Bad, worst move, but we land and we keep it moving. Now we're on easy equity and buying or oh, ETFs, buying the, the right ish. Kemaji, Asisa, that does it. The same WhatsApp group. <laughs> we dived in. We dived. And that is so. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, my baby. God bless you for. Oh, for the. The the dollars. Thank you, honey. May you never lack. May your wallet be always overpowering. And guys, if I'm going to teach you something about looking after your money, go in. Just start. I know what someone will say, uh, this one has this limit. This has this. The bells and whistles. Just start. Put away your 200 rands. Choose. Go research. Am I going for a fixed deposit? Am I going for stash? Am I going into easy equity? Am I going... And guys, start. And once you start, it becomes a, a, a lifestyle. You don't feel as though you're depriving yourself. And I'm grateful to God, guys. Maybe it's the opportunity that I had when I was young to work for a financial institution and see how people were drowning in debt. And I had sisters who were much older than me who drove expensive cars and they sit in front of me. And boy, oh boy, when I check, she last paid a home loan. Yeah, I came two months ago. It's in the rears. And those things put me off. And I looked at my little money that I had because I I, I worked with their pay slips. I worked with the, 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 the loans that they had. And, 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 and you know. And I was sit there and say, hi, bo, this woman ends 10 times, for obviously, age, experience, whatever, knowledge and, and whatever, and working in a different industry. And I've been banking, I'm young, and all. But look how fraught she is. 
Kise, the epic office. As the times where I live by customer just for five minutes, you go, Baba Zadi Bo, you try this at the card. And that put me off, guys. It did. And I'm, I'm so glad I was exposed to that when I was young. And I was like, never. With the little that I'm making, I'll make sure I'll invest it. And guys, how I started being again, putting my money away, it was a hobby. Like, I did it for fun. And there's a huge investment that I'm involved in. I started as a hobby. I enjoyed it. Okay, now I, I'm sorry to say, just it's making me money, but I... Uh, Yo, now I get everyone to help me. Like I'll call you and say, eh, don't be how bog check and la passes because I, I feel. But it was just a hobby. Guys, do it with a smile. Automate your investment. Like, okay, let me download the stash. Let me set up stash when it's load shedding. And as you see your body, you also in, increase, you know, you supplement because you can uh, stash any time to, to boost your other uh, loader that you've set up with the stash while sweating if you are a person that trains. Also, so classic. When you see the about growing, guys, it gives you that thing, man. And you know, there's nothing but drama. And I want you, those who are not investing and saving, uh, can I tell you something? There is nothing as satisfying as sitting like this and looking at some of your investments. And you look at the about, you say, what did I put this away? It just keeps you going. While people look at the about catalogs and go to about take a lot and they want to buy things they don't even need. Whether you are sitting there listening to someone sharing other uh, investment products, you're like, yeah, Pigale. Oh, let me focus. Guys, sorry, I won't, I'll be off line for 30 minutes. You put your... Guys, I can't explain it. Me that it's my hope you can invest i love it i love it you can go and spend your money you can buy your expensive clothes your expensive cars but multi asabi is your show going to man even if it's something i don't understand guys i'll sit and listen and search it and look for it and i'm like that and ask people have you heard of this go to my financial planner ask does it make sense what do you think it should, it should yield in the near future? Guys, get, start small. Uzo Trina, say, so addicted, addiction. The only warning get, Uguchi, was you see your body grows, you become a problem. You start not wanting to spend it. Thank God I finally got a track to, to, to leave my job and go child by my body because I would just keep it there and loved the figures and just sit in, increase and add to it. But like I said, have a goal and get to a time where you enjoy your bodies. I'm not saying oh, so you are my dad, so you are spend unnecessarily but say oh now I'm going to enjoy the fruit of my labor patiently waited on those long queues oh sissy that's nice oh don't make this you've got something to be proud of sissy what mistakes have you made oh <laughs> maybe you mean for isasol what and i'm thinking for the telecom shares which were awesome they, they put him on that multi choice the, the the shareholders were smiling up until this day they made good money what mistakes have you made and you wish someone taught you before getting into it? I think it's, it's, it's the ones that we're discussing. Buying those for me now, buying those uh, uh, BE shares, you know. I, I, I didn't make a loss, so but they sat there for years without good uh, returns. I'm only happy with it. my capital is still there. I would have spent it on something else, but that's not a point of investing. Investing, you want to get a good return and be able to grow your investment. So I think uh, that is the biggest mistake. But I said goodbye to that at a very young age. I shared with you when we spoke about uh, budgeting. I also once had a credit card 
and when I woke up one day, I think I must have had it for like two years, and I just couldn't remember. Which, why am I now owing the bank nine thousand? And I just couldn't think of anything tangible. And nine thousand was a lot of money. Just in those years, it, I didn't buy a fridge. I didn't buy something that I could say, "Oh, it's because of this." That's where. I phoned the bank and cut it up and I never, till this day, I haven't had a credit card for years. I don't owe for a car. In fact, I don't have a car. <laughs> Use my men's cars. And AJ, I, I just cut down and I don't believe in debt. I buy things in cash. So even my, when my phone uh, was uh, submerged in water, I woke up and went and I bought this, was it last, two years ago, last year, the samsung s22 it was the latest at that time uh cash you know i buy things cash and if i didn't have the money i would have saved for it until i'm okay and i don't believe in going on holidays on debt i don't believe in having parties on debt so in jcc i i i got disciplined uh, uh, very early of course i've made uh, some of the mistakes is maybe in some of my investments because they involved uh, people i would be lenient you know i would bring in ubuntu and you know when you bring in ubuntu people take advantage or they pay you slightly late now i'm a beast and i've been a beast for a while now and if you see me uh, shabalala you'll be shocked to booty that is not my mom i think there was an incident where unonzi found me demanding what belongs to me you know bring give kesari what belongs to kesari and i wasn't i was not aware Gucci. my phone was ringing her and she listened to the conversation and she got a shock of, of her life because she didn't know the side of mine so uh, as much as i would understand which it's a mother with a child they need this but i will remind you Gucci. Yay, 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 yay. So where must I get the money? So I've become very stern uh, with with my investments. And when I say I need my monies, I need my monies and I mean it and I get them. So you just have to be able to balance. Obviously, if it's a mother and the child, you can't do unnecessary things you have to 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 be ubuntu but i'll give you a, a deadline i'll i'll treat it you know with ubuntu still i'm a mother myself i know the challenges however i i, I don't allow you know I've, I've 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 been too gone with my heart and yeah but it's wearing your heart on your sleeve and and just too loving and but i've never been yeah, I've lost some monies and be prepared for that because with investment comes a losses. We spoke about that. It's risks, risk, risk. But if you don't take the biggest risk in life is not taking risk at all. So just move and get involved. You know, be be part of Abantabagu Stock Exchange. Be active in the stock exchange. Be active in properties. Be active in bonds. Do something. You can't fold your arms and wait for your death. Do something, you know, and I think I, I want to go now and do a live go, 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 go feel at home on my Facebook page because I want to talk about what the, the yesterday meant to us, the, the International Women's Day. It meant exactly that. Why are you folding uh, your arms when women are zabalazing and, and taking risks and, and they are in the game? So why are you a spectator? See that Latin at this game, you know? And obviously playing us, knowing exactly which way is the goalpost. This is the so a ball. These are other players. What to expect? What injuries you can encounter in the game? You ought to have that blueprint. So yeah, but don't be... We go into farming, we burn our fingers, we, we, we plant, we plant, there's no rain. But at least we have something to talk about, you know? What mistakes? Okay, I've answered you, Sissy, but I can sit for, for days. I mean, I've been in this game for four years, you see. I was in corporate for almost 30 years and, yeah, started investing when I was young. There's a lot that I can tip you about. And, guys, when we talk investment, don't be selfish. Don't only invest for yourself. Invest for your children as well. Uh, on, on stash, you can stash for your kids. On these... Um, tax-free uh investment or savings account rather you can also have 
for your kids as well. So look apart from our educational policies and stop taking them through brokers who where your whole cap capital goes towards their fees. Make sure if you get a financial advisor, you don't just pay his big car. You know, make sure you also getting something when your child, when it's time for a child to go to varsity, that educational policy will definitely save you. A lot of women are crying. They took educational policies 10 years ago, 15 years ago, but they went less. Ask the right questions. Don't, don't pay off someone else's. Of course, we ought to pay for, for, for the service that they provide and the consultation and whatever, but not your whole investment to go to EM Twin. Whenever you have no idea how encouraging you are. Oh, thank you, Fundi. You, you want me to keep going, my child? Yes, more hype. Oh, my, you're the most best mother in the world. My mom, I've never seen such a beautiful mother like you. Oh, please, we are hyper, Fundi. I've started chopping the unnecessary expenses, even food that is wasted in my fridge. Sissy, I tell you, Fundi, we must have challenges where you say, I'm not going to spa to buy if you are big on canned foods until I use what's in my pantry, you know, in my grocery cupboard. Use finish it because it's expiring it's your body down the drain i've spoke to you babes gati medicine that's where most of our expenses also go we buy these panados we buy this a uh, someone coughs before we even go and check if we've got a cough mixture we rush to 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 the pharmacy unless you've got chairs with that pharmacy guys even that doesn't make sense go check we've got medicines medicines upon expired that is your money down the drain cut all that sissy and i'm happy for you my baby congratulations and thank you for you know you're just warming my heart i mentored this young girl young in her early 20s with no child and guys i'm sorry that warms my heart when these young kids don't have children it warms my heart because why have a responsibility when you're still finding your feet and I gave her tasks and she came with something brilliant, you know, a, a, a varsity student and wanted guidance career wise. And I said, as a mother, I recommend take it, don't take it. Remember with mentoring, I'll just tip and, and recommend ABC yesterday. It's been two weeks or three weeks since I met with her. I went uh, and I said, feedback, follow up. What have you done? Guys, the child took her time to write me this long. Just like food is, is, is stating the detail. Man number one, this is what I did. I took your advice. This is what I did. Now I'm, the, I'm doing this. Now I'm busy. LinkedIn. Now I've done this. Guys, I cried. I just cried because you sit with someone and guys the amount that some people pay me is nothing i can give you back because it is meaningless if you're not gonna apply my teachings you know the uh, knowledge without a uh, uh, application is useless but to see my kids say ma i've done this thank you ma uh, i downloaded e e e e e e equity i've got my kids when i show off my stash to inspire not showing off as in look how much i have no as a mother you know as a leader of, of, of the house they come and show me their stashes others have just started others have thousands and the others have thousands and thousands of friends it's just guys i just stand there and say let me keep on doing what i'm doing even if it's just few people that listen uh, to evangel you know the preachings and they are converted and guys even if i'm teaching to the converted you can take a word we know some of us know our bible and we still go to the house of God to be reminded as a refresher, which is why are we on this earth? So even if you've got investments coming out of your ears, still do listen to people who, who talk about these topics. So keep it up, FUD. I am so proud of you. It's people like you that keeps you me going and just contributing and just giving 
by self and by time which i could be spending uh, equipping myself with more knowledge or with my my other loved ones because you are my loved ones as well hey mommy i'm late i'm watching notes in that side she's also live oh sorry malebu i wish i knew when i was younger or young however it's not late started with tfsa perfect uh, and what robs us off from investing is the same reason people always say like i said come as you are even with your debts if nothing is lost not all is lost if you start investing budget you you start investing at 50 uh, at oh uh, during retirement you can even uh, invest but the earlier, the better, guys. Time, compound interest. The longer you live it, the interest doubles and doubles and doubles. So you'll find good. Your contribution was only a uh, twenty thousand, but the compound interest supersedes the twenty thousand that was your initial uh, uh, com contribution. You cannot go wrong as early as possible i encourage no no she also has her easy equity and i tell her if you want to retire young or go to work because you don't want to get bored at home not because you are forced you've got responsibilities you've got debts coming out of your ears you can't you know you can't even chill and breathe and sleep like a baby at night start now you are still young your first paycheck and hence guys you should be bringing your nieces to these sessions you should be bringing your children to these sessions sessions because they are younger let them be equipped with the knowledge because do you even sit and tell them to start do you share these uh, applic applications do you tell them Gabo stash do you tell them Gabo easy equity do you tell them what is your uh, uh, jse how to invest there how to do they even have bank accounts that you open for them it is important guys kids when they are young you open bank accounts for them i did it and then as they grow and you invest guys for their education invest in their first cars invest in their first properties let's change the narrative but you can only do that if you've learned to invest in you and as i'm telling you it then becomes a second nature it becomes your lifestyle you don't be once you started outside oh uh look they're going to 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 mom keys or mom young casa to drink and I'm, I'm 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 kept at home no you like let them go and finish their bodies mean i'll focus on this obviously you still enjoy life because we are on this earth to start enjoyment don't lose focus of, of, of that but have limits and balance your life strike a balance have fun while you taking care of tomorrow as well you don't throw your bodies and you have nothing absolutely nothing not for yourself for tomorrow not for your kids if it rains whether you'll be left uh, outside we might it was my heart to just listen to you and take notes thank you Ributi. what did you invest with for your kids education okay sis i bought i worked for fnb at that time you know it's funny it's funny when uh shabalala because i was i went into my memory box I was looking for this book. I, I, those who are on my Facebook page, they know I share a lot about herbs as well. What does this herb do? And then the community also tells us what how it helps them. So last week I had, uh, oh, I'm gonna forget, but keep it, let's keep it moving. So I was looking for a book that I invested in years ago, which which is about about home remedies, you know, and it was such a detailed book. And I went into my memory box and certainly uh, Shabalala couldn't find that book. And I think when I flooded, it must have been messed up. It was one of the things that I couldn't salvage. 
So, about the things that I salvaged, which are not looking cool because they are crunched and whatever, and I'm going to bring some of the things that I'll share with you in one of the lives. I came across the application form for my child's education uh, policy. And what fascinated me, or what was the funniest thing, not just for me, but for my colleagues at the time, is that when I was pregnant, FNB had just introduced an educational policy. Uh, I'll, I'll bring the, I'll show you guys the application form. It is so all this some things, Jay, which took me back. You know, as you get old and these memories strikes you and brings a smile on your face that I'll bring here. And I looked at this application form, guys. You know what was the funny thing? I was pregnant when I completed that application form. It didn't have my child's name because I was still pregnant. It didn't have days of birth because I was still pregnant. And I gave it to my colleague. I'll tell you, I, this is just one of the examples. You will see how crazy and exciting investing is for me. I don't know about others and I wish it could rub off. And I left my application form with my colleague. And I said, when my child is born, I'll fax. At the time, we were faxing, not emailing, guys. Welcome to now giving away my age. I, fa I said, I'll fax my, my daughter's uh, hospital letter, whatever they, they call it. Guys, I had a child how many moons ago. I can't even recall what to do when you are pregnant. I always think to myself, I wonder how will I even help this child? She finally has a child because I have no idea. My mom was there full time. I have no idea, Jamie. Useless go. So okay, I I faxed uh, the 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 letter from the hospital. I left to invest for my child's uh, university. So it was an educational policy, and for me, like the question I asked, when will I need the money when my child goes to university? When a shabalal, you might say, when will I need the money when my child starts grade one? Someone else who rebutil will say, when will I need the money when my child starts high school? We all are different. Mine was when my daughter goes to 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 varsity. So I invested for eighteen years, cause I said I by then she would go to varsity. Signed, completed my details, her details. Uh, at the time, I knew it was a daughter, yes, through my Guinean scans that I did, but no name, no date of birth, and I left with the colleague. When I gave birth, when I went home, because I didn't stay long, hallelujah, natural birth, no complications, no cuts, nothing, Jay, easy peasy, it was a small, tiny thing like this. First thing, I recall walking in the mall and I had given birth like two days ago, strong as ever. Hey, Talubuta, strong. I hope I'll remain this strong until I get to my retirement age. Go by, guys. Very strong. So I was still at the mall. And when I was at the mall, I looked for post office. I think I did it through post office. I faxed the letter from the hospital to my colleague. Got home phoned. We told you the We told we still had the home phone, telephone, telecom phone. <laughs> and she said, "Got it, girl." I said, "Please get complete my form and 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 send it." And my first debit towards that educational policy which was through fnp uh, went through and i'll tell you then fnp i think then as times were changing and the the, the laws were changing where you needed these certified financial advisors you know they write these complex exams re exams they must shadow uh, people and they must be in the field for a certain period and guys it, it, it is a different world if you are a, a financial advisor you know very well the struggle so the bank had to separate excuse me the transactional the home loan book and whatever so they were constantly now the laws started coming up to protect us as 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 um, uh, my customers and consumers so then the law started kicking in and fnp couldn't underwrite uh, the policy anymore it was then later handed over and i started contributing 100 150 was my minimum that i could contribute towards my child's education policy but every time i would get an increase i would increase it i would increase it i think 
like 15 years later i was contributing not much me eh? about 500 it was around the but the amount okay let's before i talk i tell you the outcome and then there was a time when the books had to be separated a financial institution started being regulated this is you need processes systems people who have these qualifications and whatever so that had to be now taken away to momentum because i recall getting a letter a cool like educational policy oh how does momentum fit into my life because me now my, edu my child's educational policies with fnp then i checked oh they've handed over that section and then momentum was running us so i think it was under momentum for like 10 years uh, before you know what do they maturity it reached its maturity that's the term that they use in the in those fields and when when my daughter turned 18 it matured but every year guys you ought to do this when you have these educational policies i'm not promoting momentum maybe osan lamba better maybe all mutual go to your research i didn't go directly to to momentum i was banking with i was working for fnp i took it with the fnp but then they had to to be underwritten uh, by, mo by by momentum do your homework but every year just go and find out e e e e e rates of return on your investment you want to know how much you're getting you know the annual uh, interest on that investment and i did that and i was smiling and I, I i don't recall a uh, following up that much when it was still with fnp but when it moved to momentum i would send the email and say guys what's the rate of return and i was happy because it, it was beating I, 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 inflation so i knew with this money would be something in a few years from now so what it is buying today it will still buy me the exact same thing that is beating inflation that's the meaning so i i, I recall the last time i asked it was 13 percent uh, return which is guys it is good go check what you get on your investments you're gonna fall down some of y'all are most getting about three percent four percent because you don't even check these things and 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 there's nothing wrong guys of transferring your investments but especially uh, i'm not say complex when you talk ras and whatever i'm not talking that i'm talking the money that you are putting away so i was happy and then when it was immature and i invested for 18 years very important to be disciplined that's why i say I mean, i'm a long-term investor when you come to me you can't come to me and say ma but i'll need the money next year how will i'll tell you mean even if you stash stash should be an investment for for your retirement because it's got you know it takes free and use it up until you have a million loyal which is a limit don't use it as your savings i wouldn't but for someone who's still getting into a habit of investing i always say start even if it's about two liter bottle just get to a habit then we'll talk about what is the best once we start seeing good time we are becoming consistent so i i got an amazing return i often see people crying about their educational policies uh, i'm not part of that i can't even contribute negatively or write a, my mine is a positive uh, ending story so mine CC, was finally under U, 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 u momentum and i was the happiest and I, I i and needless to say i ended up not even using that money for education because i had other hands i say diversify which which took care of the education and i took that lump sum and and, and gifted uh, my child when she turned 18 with something that is known <laughs> to me and her only so always uh and uh, make sure you do that and uh, get uh, get these stash for for your kids get the educational policies for your kids invest for to help them with their first properties guys give them a head start we didn't have a head start start uh, and don't give 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 teach them the disciplines as well by opening an account when you give them allowances encourage them to to Put away some of the monies and match it like that's how i did with i'll say if you invest uh, at the end of the year you bring your 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 your, your printout which is your statement we called it printout at the time your bank statement and i'll match and uh, that's how you encourage your kids so if for the year 
she managed to put away 2000 i matched it with another 2000 and next year obviously it will be three because she's encouraged i'll never touch her now because she's she's more sick than me when it comes to investment and she blames me Gucci. I, I i injected this thing and now she she can't stand it she can't stand it but she loves it you know that love hate you could say but now i put everything away like you 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 used to but now i cannot say this is show me i'll match it ah, i'll go uh, broken and broken but do uh, such things guys uh, also, we spoke about cash, we spoke about bonds, we spoke about properties, we spoke about investing in shares. Those who like e e e e e Lord, e digital currencies, which is your Bitcoin, invest in that. I'm not encouraging, but go study and know what you are not doing it through people, but you've got an app like everything else. Don't give your monies to strangers to invest on your behalf. No, no, no. You know what to look for. Go search and do it DIY. Do it yourself. And then don't forget to, to include e gold as well. So buy your kids a Makruga Rands and, and keep them. You know, the gold is now doing so well. I've seen some few posts where people are selling their golds. So if you've got a Makruga Rands, you could be gifting your kids my 21st one. Let's forget, isn't this useless? I'm a coach bags so, coach and i don't care and gift our kids with our um, assets and guys before we close there's assets and liabilities buy assets assets are those things or investments that brings you more money even if it's not now in the future you know you might buy a, a gold a gold now hold on to it in the future it will bring you something buy a stand it, it, you'll find what it takes from you because you must maybe you can even buy it and hold to it it's not giving you something maybe at the moment but when you sell it you get something build um, out buildings and then put in people there which people who are invested in 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 purposes in the location do that a lot and you're making money on a monthly basis to pay for children's school fees to pay for or to buy other investment asset classes but in j invest in assets liabilities yeah, are everything that takes from us your cars your 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 loans and i want you today to go sit down and have a list of what which assets you have your farms your properties that machinery that you rent out and it brings you money, that decor table that you rent out and it brings you money, that uh, oven that you use to generate, write all your assets in one column like you did with the budgeting and write all your, uh, your liabilities on the other column. All your loans, your overdrafts, your cars, those are liabilities because what are they giving you at the end of the day? Nothing. They're taking from you from maintenance, monthly repayments, insurances. They, uh, you know what? You name it. Who's say visa, the tires, they take unless that car is a bucky. On weekends, you, you, you are transporting your neighbor's furnitures. On weekends, when you are driving to, to Zimbabwe to drop off a merchandise, which brings you money, then you put it under your assets. So I want you to do me this favor. All of y'all, you're going to have two columns. Assets, what assets do you have? Do you even know? Sit down, spend time, write down all your assets, and your assets will include your shares as well. How much are your shares worth? Your assets will include your, your, your retirement amount. So write the properties, put the, the, the value. If we were to sell your property, how much you look at today's value? Put it there, uh, uh, your, your shares, your gold, uh, Kruger Reds. If you've got 10, you know how much is one? I was trying to buy one almost fainted uh, but that's a story for another day uh, and then uh, write how many in total write your assets tally them up which means you gotta put the total at the bottom go to your liabilities guys put how much your loans from capital to all this whole world because now everyone gives the loan number who lets the number loan me that was shocked uh, your clicks have I mean, that shocks me 
write them down your cars list all the for sure for sure that is causing you to, to to not enjoy your life fully and also tell it up and have it total and subtract your liabilities from your assets and tell me what you get there at the bottom and that amount that you get after you subtract your liabilities from your assets which means if you drop dead today god forbid and remember under your assets you'll have your life covers as well the value the amount if you drop dead today where now you will be worth how much will your kids have to sell their school uniforms to pay for for what you are owing the world your credit cards will be under your liabilities the again so i get your store cards will be under liabilities those are not assets and then at the bottom the about you're gonna get when you subtract these things that takes from you every month these things that you owe the about if it, you've got a car you gotta write the about that you are owing the bank as of now if you've got a house how much is your house today if you were to sell it at the bottom get that figure you buy this, you liabilities from your assets, and that figure is your net worth. And again, guys, I would love you, those who can, privately. I won't even know your name. Ugutu, what is your net worth? Because if you are sitting on a minus, ah, you've got a lot of work when that to do. In fact, you shouldn't have this, a, 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 a full supper. You should be eating a fruit and making sure you're putting money away to be able to buy assets so investing is investing is buying assets you buy asset classes that will bring in some of the shares they pay dividends on a monthly basis so you can buy shares and every month they come into your pocket as the income so they take care of you obviously guys we are getting about dick uh school will be able to take you about shares got got thirty thousand and expect to go see the dividends will pay for, towards your cars towards your board you ought to look at the figures and be realistic but know what when people talk about your net worth it's when you've subtracted your liabilities from your assets. It is. Some people are sitting on minus hundred thousand, half a bit minus, guys. Which means if they drop down now, they are in, in fact owing the world. So go do that homework. That is a task that I give to you because I know what my net worth is. I take all my assets as they are at that particular time when i do my financial assessment i take all my liabilities i list them which thank god i don't have many because i hate to owe people i hate to work for people that i don't even know i hate to pay for things that i don't even remember and thanks to that credit card that put me off which i don't do that nonsense you know store cards you can't even remember which was it this shit what did I buy? Was the jacket was it a jacket when I was going to Turkey? Was it a suitcase? I guys, I hate it. I know hate is a strong word, but I hate that. And we only stay, I list mine. So this looks healthy. This looks healthy assets that no liar believes. But you have to have the numbers. If it's store cards, how much you owing seven thousand you gotta write seven thousand under liabilities your house is worth now two million you gotta write two million add everything now so it will show you Gucci. wake up call stand up and if you don't have a life cover to pay for these liabilities and you've got young kids what are you thinking if you live tonight who's gonna pay for that debt because you don't die with your debt unless you've got the insurance for it and the insurance is in a form of that that credit uh plan and uh, there's a wait for it or for your your credit cards and life cover so if i would a life cover you owing cars you owing a house you've got young kids you know those kids will be on the streets 
because when they take your assets and take your liabilities and minus and that so it's still a little different so if your net worth is minus half a million two million which of your family member will pay the the, the people that you are owing two millions two million rents to borrow if you were to go to save your your kids from uh, living on the streets to, to and who's gonna pay for your children's education so i want you to go do that face your reality cry if you need to cry eat an ice cream if you need to eat and cry ice cream drink a glass of wine hopefully red wine which is one glass once in a while not when you are drowning in it is good for your heart will make your heart strong and after crying after border let that net worth yeah say hi mo am i worth me the minus or am i only worth ten thousand girl roll up your sleeves roll up your sleeves and say how do i change this to a positive how do i make sure if i leave this earth tomorrow my assets are worth much far much more than my liabilities and no child of mine will be raised by an auntie or uncle who will abuse my child whether mentally physically emotionally or psychologically because we owe it to our kids to make right i love you so much darlings i think i've touched on so much the natural lights is gone because your mom can go on and on like i said it's such a huge um discussion you know it's a it's a, a humongous area investing and in savings but i've touched on so much and uh, yeah credit protection i think that's what i wanted to talk about it has come back now and guys cut down on spending cut down on those debts that is the only way you can i just want to say if i didn't leave anything else and, and invest in every month please guys there's no such thing as i don't feel like it this month i'm gonna skip my investment even if it's a savings for you 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 emergency fund there's unit trusts invest in unit trust but go read up those are long term guys those are long term we spoke about etfs also long term if you want to really realize your, your your dreams and you want to see the red going a long way for us who are in south africa if you are in us the dollar going the long way yeah take advantage of the tax-free savings accounts we spoke about that open them for your kids invest towards your retirement i'll do a separate life i owe it to you to talk deeply about your retirement and don't forget to involve uh, and to diversify don't put all your baskets in uh, eggs in one basket take ever i don't have too many like now we're so end up uh, we confused don't confoculate yourself that's the language i use sorry guys and we'll talk about investing for your retirement and don't forget to approach a financial advisor if you get stuck and this is not your forte because we can't all be gurus in certain things even when you are a guru you still need help and those questions remember we spoke about how much can you save uh, how much uh, risk can you take how much will you need you ask yourself those questions before you invest when will you need it the body so your goals will guide you how much do you want to leave and it doesn't mean if you are investing for buying a car and you wanted to, to, your plan was to invest eight thousand and now you've got 50 that investment so 30 50 just leave it to to zala man leave it to have more children and take what you need guys like how you would do with your your guys i don't even want to encourage i don't talk about that i won't even say to you unless it's a home loan you won't don't take a maximum a uh, home a uh, loan amount take what you need you don't need to stay in a house you, you, you three million 
because you qualify for three million. Let's be realistic. You only have one child. Why do you need ten bedrooms for the what for the dust to gather? So always be realistic and think for when uh, life throws you lemon. You always have a ten bedroom. How are you gonna sell that place? How are you gonna pay for it while you try to make a, a lemonade? out of the lemons so thank you sweethearts let's come back and thank you for staying with me thank you for asking for engaging guys gabonis gucci you really enjoy the the these boot uh, finance boot camps and you just make sure good nabi i give you more i tap into my own personal experiences whether experiences that i had forgotten about and i'm able to share how i did it because i don't mind doing that without uh, stating the figures what is your opinion about life insurance i've touched on it Shabalala. make sure it equates or it's even slightly more than what you owe everyone got to have life insurance and i've said to my kids uh, that's how other races especially the lighted complexion one has built the the generational wealth through life insurance i get if you wanna dispute that that about funeral cover have one funeral cover it is more than enough and maybe within your community because you want to show Ubuntu, you want to show who you are a, a caring neighbor you cough out maybe those flowers as in flower to to make scones guys i made scones a few days ago flowers and whatever and they were gone in no time but invest in a life cover than having 50 funeral covers oh as africans that's where you can build wealth for your loved ones when you are noble one solid that will pay off your debts nicely and still leave something for your kids and if you work for amazing companies should you die then they give you four times your your salary that is life cover you know take that into consideration when you write your assets because that is part of your life cover because yeah if you work for those companies if there's no benefits sorry but start looking for jobs in companies that have benefits where they say should you die while you're working for our company will pay your beneficiary uh, uh, five times and they even give you a, an option to add you know at one stage i was on eight, eight times my annual salary because if there's one thing guys i've empowered my kids with the knowledge and it would be nice to leave them with a start they can't also start go zero like how we started a uh, go zero that's my second generation and and let's keep it that way as africans we can we've got opportunities now thanks and uh, this is very informative informative thanks honey teachings more blessings to you and your family thanks sweetheart and most blessings to you and your family sweetie i love you so much Siswami. Gavele, Gabane, stress. I <laughs> don't be, don't stress. Don't stress. How are you going to build wealth if you are stressed? Look at the true picture and work on it just like that. Look at the true picture and say, how am I closing them? How am I cutting them down? And work, sis, and be focused. And if you say no, takeaways, a uh, weekend, you don't know, have maybe two weekends where there's no takeaways. If you are a takeaway person, which you shouldn't be big on that, rather cook, you are much healthier, you'll stay longer on this earth, you know, taking care of your health, and rather do that and say, I'm directing this money towards my debt. And to be more disciplined, as you are not buying for a takeaway year 300, immediately take that 300 and transfer it to your debt. Then you will start seeing a difference. And if you are investing and you've cut down that golf day, immediately take that 1,005 you would have invested on the golf day and directly direct it on this day. That's how I do my investment, guys. If I'm like now, you know I'm fasting. 
so i've saved so much money you guys i've told you i'm a restaurant hopper crazy love good food good food guys love it i've saved so much money i don't go for coffee i don't go for 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 these uh delicacies so i every day lebali which i'm directing it obviously there'll be a portion that i'll give uh, which I shouldn't even talk about giving because this head shouldn't know what this head is doing. Gabe, like how I say, so be the stress. Love you, Tembeli. I hope you've learned the thing of two. Thank you for the lessons. Pleasure, so Thank you, my baby. Thank you so much, mommy. Our parents might have not taught us, but you have closed that gap. Thanks, sis. And bring your kids. Bring your kids. Teenagers, let us empower ourselves. There are lessons, many lessons. I think some schools do try and touch on, on, on personal finance, but bring the kids. The younger, the better. Let them get to the habit. And think money fall from the tree. We work hard for the money and let's look after our heart and money. And guys, I am a living testimony. It will look after you tomorrow. I truly appreciate your bootcamp. Pleasure, sweetheart. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, and hi ubadi u astrolink okay thank you guys and may the almighty god continue to bless you and may he really lead the way and those who really really struggle to save and invest may he touch you in a way that you've never thought and may you wake up tomorrow for the first time downloading those apps and researching on where you can actually reinvest and guys like i said banks will start you off even with 50 rands and as it you can start with the savings as it gets to a, a bigger amount transfer it to investment because investment we did say long term long uh, better returns and and, and and may god guide you i've given you the knowledge and uh, guys take it uh, with strides and run with it and apply it even if Utima, out of your session i just went and I got myself a 32-day notice account, and I'm just putting 200 rands, automated it straight from my salary to the bank. I don't see it. I don't touch it. Because, guys, if you say you will manually do it, forget it. You'll buy a cold drink. You'll buy an ice cream on your way out, automated. I'll be so blessed if you say, Ma, this is what I managed to do. Like my kids who said, Ma, from your lessons i promise this is what i started doing but guys let's build the generational wealth we can we've got it in us and spot those opportunities take on more jobs don't sit in front of tvs when your bank balance doesn't allow you to take time off obviously but invest your time on trying to get more money there's so much money that can be made online when i finally get my laptop which i've been delaying because i know once i get it i'll be good on getting you guys opportunities to make money online let's make money online and use that money to build a generational wealth not to go buy shoes or, or whatever to build for for our future generation may you stay blessed i love you thanks for commenting thanks for liking don't forget to share with your loved ones with your kids your neighbors people at church your colleagues every single person throughout the world and thanks for embracing me with your presence god bless